आई जस्ट थॉट एक्चुअली पहले तो बहुत इट वॉज वेरी शॉर्ट नोटिस गिवन टू मी दो आई एम द ऑर्गेनाइजिंग चेयरमैन बट दे सेड यू हैव टू फिल अप दिस गैप सो ये लेटर वॉल क्या है बिकॉज द लेटर वॉल आई थिंक सो गॉट मोर इम्पोर्टेंस इन टू थाउजेंड फिफ्टीन फोर्टीन लास्ट वन टेन वन डिकेड बैक वेन द वन ऑफ द आर्टिकल्स शोज द लेटर देर वॉज अ फेलियर ऑफ मोर ऑफ द लेटर वॉल and the, the fixation failed predominantly especially the pfns failed due to the lateral wall the dhs i feel, uh, the intertrochanteric fractures i feel still are a dilemma people still prefer dhs pfn one screw two screw then now again fixed angle blade plates enders and so on so let's solve this problem of lateral wall i went in the literature just before that and the lateral wall burst fractures hardly any papers were there but the lateral wall fractures and the th especially the thickness of the lateral wall one very good paper of chinese showed that the lateral wall was thickness was a predictor for the failure of the implants this lateral wall predominantly as you see is a roughly the area around 3 cm and from there only all the fixations goes classification i'll just go through fast so why this lateral wall because this is only we see normally pre op all impo the most important abductors are attached at the one end and through this surface all the fixation goes to the neck the distal fixation of all the implants starts from this surface and this surface only we can do something so x rays is x rays good yes x rays are very good showing us traction x rays definitely recommended at least you will show the geometry and understand also the fracture pattern whether involving lateral wall or not especially the posterior middle part the lateral the gt and the lt so is any role of ct scan i would just want to know from the the faculty and the delegates is any role of ct scan in the intertrochanteric fracture nowadays yes. yes so ct scan has a role especially elderly patients comminuted fractures now looking at this ct and looking at this previous x ray the both cts were of this patients only these two patients definitely showing a lot of multiple fractures little we can say little frightening lot of multiple pieces but definitely it helps for the pre op planning so role of the ct is there and i think so even the babulkar shushil babulkar sir has also given the classification of the ct scan on that so which implants to use as i said only pfn with or without augmentation is any role of plate dhs i think so dhs has very limited role in lateral wall fractures because that's the way the pen was superior than the dhs only dhs with plating also people prefer and is in a role of plasti we'll go through this in this my presentation i'll give you multiple options and which you prefer which is best in your hand you do it it is a controversial thing you can do with pfn only plate only pfn with cc screw P pfn screws pfn with tbw pfn with plate whatever is is best in your hand you should do it so now this pf this fracture definitely lateral wall here this is the x ray of dr shushankar sir he always prefer only pfn especially the pfn not pfn a2 he likes pfn because the two screws the two bolts acts like a wall lateral wall the nail only itself has a lateral wall so that is and very good results of last 15 to uh, one or two decades with the fixation of the pfn alone with lateral wall second this is the other one which is latest article i like this article of dr vivek shetty he has a cases of 200 cases on which he had a follow up of more than more than 150 cases and he showed pfn alone is good enough which is i i don't think it's exactly right but definitely if the results are there why not but you should be smart you don't have much egos and if if you require you can do a tbw or a screw or a plate if you require to augment especially in osteoporotic fractures third this if you see the long fragment the middle even the middle beak is also there the lateral side and the tbw holds good predominantly the articles by our own kotada sir babulkar and kulkarni has shows that tbw has a big role and it if it is done properly the fracture is going to unite the other one the trochanteric plate with circlage and also you knowing the gonzales uh, afterwards i'll come to the gonzales plate pfn with cc screws again it has pros and cons but predominantly if you are most of the prefer i prefer in the lateral wall in the osteoporotic having a two pfn normal pfn with the two screws because the bolts of the screw are 
good enough so they don't penetrate inside or neither back out sarclage so now this is a gonzales plate with a trochanteric femur plate similar x rays dhs with plate with a uh, tbw and only plates and also the latest i have seen the fings angle blade which initially used to so before 2015 lateral was all was not there yes it was there and maybe that article really helped us because they said the pfn was the, P, the pfn came importance in 2000 especially over the dhs with the minimal invasive reverse oblique fractures and the lateral wall fractures and uh, is any role of plasty especially the elderly women with a low, with a lot of cardiac issues or other issues i feel even there is a role but very very limited i have not done even one in my in my last two decades of the inter but it has a role the reason i am showing you multiple things is it is a controversial topic and i am confused are you because so much of options are there in the lateral wall to put a plate put a nail nail with plate nail with tbw what the most important thing is that sirf nail dal ke ho jayega mera that's not the luck is not all in your hand is not in your hand but decisions are in your hand and luck cannot make your decisions so, so your decisions can make luck that's more important many people says only pfn is good pfn is good pfn or pfn a2 but i think so most important is your results matter if you have long term results and showing it and you are best in that and you have good literature and publish it that's no problem at all so case 1 displaced fracture lateral wall okay this is definitely a disaster a disaster fixation a virus lateral wall not address and definitely bound, bound to fail and as progressive x ray shows it has failed so what is the plan for this now anyone so definitely implant has to be out the virus has to be there valgus reduction has to be there so we did the rescue implant always is a dhs with tbw i'll discuss these two x rays afterwards as we have discussed a panel discussion on this i am really i like the pfn pfn is good but pfn with lateral wall there are some few points you should understand the most important thing is always reduction reduction and reduction the anterior wall has to be aligned in lateral anterior and the uh, middle reduction has to be there the positive and positive reduction has to be there in both the middle cortex valgus reduction really helps and the tip apex distance in short what is the conclusion understand the fracture most important all implants are good with or without augment which are good in your hand but you have to be diplomatic you have to be smart and most important again i repeat reduction has to be anatomical in osteoporotic patients you can augment all necessary implants should be kept in the ot what is best in your hand with a good long term results do it plastic should be your last option thank you